Oh my god, they did. Squaresoft presents... Chocobo Racing. They made it its own game. I'm so excited! Look, it's all the little Final Fantasy monsters! Oh, I could barely contain my excitement for some Chocobo Racing. You better get in the game, son. What are you doing? So yeah, this is, a uh, Obviously, the little Final Fantasy kart racing game. On the heels of the success of Mario Kart 64, everybody back in the 90s had to take their franchise and make a kart racer with it. So we ended up with, like, a, there was a Mega Man kart racer, and I think Sonic the Hedgehog had one. And, obviously, they had to make one with Final Fantasy characters. And it is one of the greatest games on PlayStation. It's so much fun. It's especially fun to play two-player, but I don't have anybody else to play it with. Uh, in this empty room that I'm sitting in. So I'm just gonna play through the story mode. On Brick Road, this is, uh, Let's Play Chocobo Racing. What, uh, usually I don't watch the intros of games I Let's Play. My goodness, this intro is fantastic. It's like, and then you remember that they did this cutscene again in Final Fantasy XIII? It was like this, just this, except without all the little adorable monster buddies. So yeah, we are totally playing Chocobo's Racing. That's exactly what we're doing. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. I just have game save data because I was, uh... Had to configure the controls because the default controls are terrible. And in fact, I think I have to actually go in and... Oops. Uh... There, there, there we go. So I can use my D-pad instead of the little control stick thing. So, alright, it's time for some Chocobo racing. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, we're gonna start from the beginning. Of course we want to read the story. Why, why wouldn't we want to ch see the awesome cutscenes in Chocobo Racing The Adventure? Chapter 1, Gadgets A Go-Go. Oh, it's a storybook format. And he made his little quad noise. Isn't that wonderful? So Sid is going to give us a present. What is the present? Oh my goodness, it's Rocket Roller Skates! Or jet blades, or whatever. Of course we want to take them for a spin. We wouldn't be holding the controller if we didn't want to take the rocket skates out behind the thing and the thing with the thing. And then we got special abilities and there's magic spells to pick up. Wonderful. Um, unfortunately the first race is very, very slightly boring, because there's nothing on the track, and there's no one to race against. And because you have to use Chocobo. And it's just kind of... You, you gotta get used to the game before you learn how to play the game, you know what I mean? It gets a lot more exciting later on. So yeah, here we go. It's good stuff. Alright. Yeah, Chocobo racing. I love it. You really can't lose the first track. It's just making sure you know what the buttons do, and that you can drift around turns and things. Um, I usually don't drift around turns, I usually have more like just tapping the brake button. Dash move! <laughs> Interestingly enough, Chocobo is actually the best character in the game because of that dash move. I mean, later on you can pick which character you want, and then you can pick which special move they have, but dash is pretty much the best because it lets you get into the lead of a race, like, Assuming there are people to race, which there aren't on this track, but it lets you get into the lead and then maintain it for a long time. And it's fantastic. There's just not much to see on this first track, so let's, let's just get through it really quick and then do something a little more exciting, is what we'll do. You can carve a few seconds off the clock if you go into the grass with your dash move, because dash allows you to not lose speed on bad terrain like that, but... It's also good if you don't crash into walls. If you don't crash into walls, you can maintain a pretty good speed. Um, sometimes I crash into walls because I'm not good at video games. Yeah, like that, but whatever. You know, it's all good. It's Chocobo Racing. Woot! And then you can tell it's a Final Fantasy game because it plays this victory music. Awesome. All right, so our yeah, rocket skates. We're good to go. I love it. I'm all, I'm I'm raring for a for a real race now. I'm the fastest thing on wheels, and I can outrun an airship. That's great. Uh oh, it's a Moogle. 
dastardly little beings. And I love how all of the music in the game is remixes of classic Final Fantasy music, mostly from Final Fantasy 3 and 5, and I think there's one or two tracks from 4. And I think one from 6. This is obviously just the Moogle music that I think they play in Final Fantasy 5 and 6. Oh, Mog ordered a racing machine. Sid has like a look on his face right now, like, what? Who farted? Mago Boy Racing. Nobody would buy a game called Mago Boy Racing. Who am I kidding? I would buy it because Final Fantasy Racing, I would spend money on that no matter what they called it. They could call it Moogle Butt Munch Racing and I would still buy it because Final Fantasy Kart Racer. You know what I mean? And Sid did not build Mog's machine because nobody likes Mog. That's too bad. Yeah, we might as well save the game on memory card slot one. <laughs> Alright. So, we will be back next video with some more Chocobo Racing. I'll see you guys then.